this federal election, I'm hitting the campaign trail and getting the inside scoop from the journos and the pollies. I'm Maya, and the Rookie Reporter. I caught James Matheson, who's running as an independent in the Sydney seat of Warringah out on the trail. What do you see Australia like in 50 years? Wow, I mean, I think we will see uh, a lot of education being done remotely, you know, and I think it'll also broaden our access to the type of education we have. At the moment, you probably go into a classroom, there's one person up the front, 30 of you learning the same thing at exactly the same time. I don't think that's the best model. I think there are probably different ways to do it where you cater for your interests and your speed of learning. And I think with technology, we'll have the ability to adapt to that, which is really exciting. And I understand that you're running against Tony Abbott in this election. I've heard that he had a seat for 22 years. That's right. What's it going to be like? It's going to be a big challenge. You know, when somebody has had the seat for a long time, they're in what's called a blue ribbon seat, which means the people in the area haven't voted differently for a long, long time. So he was put in in 1994. What year were you born? 2003. That's crazy. <laughs> you are born in 2003? How can you be like a, a, a fully grown person? Wow. OK, I've got to get my head around that. I think for young people, they think, oh, it's too confusing, there's too many parties, there's too many issues. If you are a little bit confused, you just think about, like, what would be one thing that's really important to you? Probably environment education. Yeah. If you're not sure how to vote or what to do or who to follow, you follow that one issue and you see who aligns with that and you can vote accordingly. Thank you so much. Check out my daily video blog on ABC3 on Ivy.